Good afternoon, Mrs. Compton. One of the old ladies, Mrs. Hart, waved to me as I entered the church in my Sunday's best. I had to keep up a certain appearance as the Pastor Devante Compton's wife. That was no problem for me, because Devante kept me laced in the nicest, and I loved to step on necks, even if I was in a skirt suit with not a bit of cleavage in sight. Good afternoon, Mrs. Hart. Have you seen Pastor Devante? I asked, peeking into the room she'd just emerged from and noticing he wasn't inside. I think he went to his office to do some work. You know that young man breaks his back for the Lord. She touched my hand with her fragile one. He does, I smiled. Well, see you this Sunday. I pranced off down the hall, then hooked a right to make it to my husband's plush office in the back of his church, first missionary. We had over 500 members, and currently plenty of people were hoping to be added to that. At the moment, Devante was planning to expand the building since we usually had over 50 people standing in the back of the room during his sermons, and it had become a fire hazard. Nearing his office, I reached for the knob and twisted gently while pushing it open. As soon as I stepped one pump over the threshold, Devante and his co-pastor, Ahmed Basil, jolted from whatever position they'd been in. My mouth fell open as my eyes darted to my husband's large hands fumbling with his belt, zipper, and top hook of his slacks. I didn't miss Ahmed wiping his mouth on the low, with eyes just as wide as mine. 